Well, that was critical. I mean, that whole uh, situation in 2019, um, not knowing where to go, um, knowing that I had a, a multiple systems atrophy diagnosis from a neurologist that I saw, but it didn't stop my wonderful life, wife Lisa, a clinical pharmacist, from constantly pursuing that um, in Google. And she kept using those key words of perineoplastic, autoimmune, cerebellar degeneration. And in all of her research, uh, with those search engine words, an article popped up uh, in November of 2019. And she read it and she said, wow, this is this sounds exactly like what Stephen has. So she turned me on to that and I read it and it made all kinds of sense to me, the NEJM article that Dr. DeBay part authored. Uh, and um, with that, I reached out to Dr. DuBay and uh, Dr. Sean Piddock here at the Mayo Clinic. And Dr. DuBay got back to me immediately once he read my timeline that I presented to him and the email that I offered him. Um, and then one thing led to another. He was, he thought it was incredibly coincidental that, that um, Lisa saw that article. Uh, and if it wasn't for Lisa finding that article and uh, through her constant pursuit, I would have probably been still chasing the multiple systems atrophy diagnosis and, and that's not right. We all know right now that I had the, the um, perineoplastic autoimmune KLHL11 plus IgG plus uh, encephalitis. Uh, and so uh, now that we have gotten to that um, diagnosis, uh, Dr. Dubay has recommended a uh, protocol and that's what I've been following that protocol. Doctors are great. I mean, the world can't go without doctors, but doctors do not know everything. Not every doctor knows everything. They're specialists. And this is pretty new, what Dr. Dubay and his staff has been researching for 20 years, but they just can't come out and say that they discovered this. They had to get confirmation. So they've confirmed everything and they're confident. And I'm fortunate that, that we've got this diagnosis now. But I would say to other uh, men who, who have this, this misfortune, other fellows who have had testicular cancer and then have these symptoms, never stop being your own uh, best advocate of research, researching your own disease. Never stop that because you, you know your own body so uh, and what's good for you and what's bad for you. And if you know something's wrong, never hesitate in getting on the computer and always be, you gotta be your best and strongest advocate for your own health. And I hope other men uh, see articles or maybe see a doctor who have seen this article that Dr. Dubay and his team have published and they can get a, a, a diagnosis that much sooner so that their cerebellums do not deteriorate to the point of, um, of being drastic. I mean, mine has deteriorated enough where my life has changed and I'm a disabled individual, but I'm still working. I'm still gainfully employed. I'm still a father to my two sons. I'm still my wife's uh, husband uh, and I still have a family who supports me. Um, so, you know, I would say uh, don't give up. Never give up. Don't give up and stay strong.